Good evening YouTube, Austin Trench coming at you with another Toku Toy Review. Today I have one of the many figures that I plan to get, but not of this variety, the Morphin Grid Red Ranger. This is coming from the upcoming 2017 March film, Power Rangers the movie, which is a reboot of the franchise. On the back here you can see that the Ranger characters are set right here. The only, currently the only ones out are the blue and pink one, which I saw at the store when I got this. But below you can see Rita, a putty patroller, and maybe the Black Ranger below, but who knows, it might be the green one. Who knows? But overall, I think this packaging looks very nice, although I haven't seen much marketing for the figures, which really worries me about the film. Maybe it will be good, maybe it will be bad, but it's imperative that marketing is upholded. With that said, let's get this toy out of the box. Alright, here he is out of the box, the Red Ranger of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, the leader known as Jason, the Tyrannosaurus Red Ranger, of course is roughly around seven inches tall. Now you can match this up with, and I'm serious here folks, you can match it up with this, your Gypsy Danger toy, which is pretty good, but I really wish that it came as a six incher. But overall, I really do like the idea of it. In terms of posability, he can't really do much. As you can see, he can do this 360 right there. He can move his arms up and down. There, 360. His head can go left and right, but it can't go 360. The legs do not move, sadly, nor does the waist, which is a, uh, how you say, a waste of this figure's potential because it would have done better if it had leg movement, especially if you're one of those people that just like to pose it around. Up close, you can see the detail on this figure is phenomenal. Here you can see all the bumps, outlines, and crevices of this suit. You can even see some of the design specs right here, but it is lacking in the paint department, as in it, there's not enough silver on it. There's silver right here, here, and here, and a little bit down here as well that's not involved in this figure, which is a bit of a downer for it, but overall, it doesn't change what it is. It matches the suit exactly as it should down right to this sort of light red substance all over it. As a bonus, this figure comes with a particular ability that to light up to simulate the morphing grid, you just simply press on this button right like so, and then this happens. It flickers for a bit, and then it goes to one big solid color right here, or if you want it to like this, you gotta keep it like that and it just keeps growing and growing and growing and then it ultimately you know shrinks back down or switches off which is very nice right there as you can see with the flickering on this it's quite difficult to keep it in place but overall I really do enjoy how this figure looks and I do appreciate the minor detail that they put in here especially with the uh, morphing grid sequence that they put inside the figures chest plate so yeah, this is a small, quaint figure. It's nice to give to your kids, but I recommend that you keep it out of bathtubs, otherwise you might damage the battery. It's got a good sculpt, good posability for the most part, but it's lacking in paint details, and back to posability, it's missing that in the leg area and the waist area. So really, I have to give it a solid 8 out of 10. <laughs> Well, that was my review of the 2017 Power Ranger Morphing Grid Red Ranger figure. I recommend you look online or at your local Toys R Us to find these. I'm going to be reviewing the 5 inch figures soon, hopefully, if they're in stores by then. And I recommend you try to get them while you can as well. And with that said, that's all the time I have for this review. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.